everybody, this is Tina with Loving Life's Little Blessings and welcome to Project Life by Stampin' Up! Tuesday. I'm excited to share another layout with you guys using um, the brand new kit that you can order on June 2nd. This kit is called Moments Like These and I have used another page protector that is an old Stampin' Up! page protector. It has a 6x8 pocket here and then 4x6 pockets here. And I just used this particular layout of page protector because I didn't exactly have enough photos to fill a whole page protector and I wanted enough photos to reach on the front and the back. I have one photo that isn't printed yet. So I thought that this would be another good page protector to use and I am trying to use up my Stampin' Up! Um, page protectors that we don't sell anymore. So I just have a small stash of stuff that I'm just trying to get through and use. So I went ahead and used this kit again. I kept it really simple. I used our in colors that coordinate with it. So in this pocket right here is a piece of tip tap taupe and I used the washi tape from the uh, kit and then I cut this card. This is a four by six card and I just trimmed it down to fit at the top there. Sorry, a really loud car just went by. And then I kept this photo. The other thing is that I had this photo that was this direction. And these are photos that Wendy took. And so um, I didn't want to trim it down because I really wanted the scenery and stuff. And so I knew I needed to do something where I could feature this photo. And this page um, orientation worked because it was the only photo that I have in this direction. I didn't have two. Um, so anyways, that's what worked. So I cut that card down so that moments would be up here and used that washi tape to kind of cover up that seam. This card down here was just a four by six card in the kit. I used some washi tape right there to tie it together. I cut this little flag off one of the three by four cards and I just trimmed it down and kept that and layered it and then I layered some sequins on here and I'll just hand write my journaling. You'll see some handwritten journaling on the back. Over here I took some of the neutrals um, cardstock, uh, not cardstock, I'm sorry, the neutrals designer paper stack and I just trimmed a piece off of that and put it here and then I layered this. This black circle was a two by two square that I punched out using a circle punch. Then I used another punch with some tip tap taupe and I just layered that and it's on. Um, dimensionals. Then a photo is here and then this is one of the cards that was in the kit. I believe I'm going to probably stamp at the lake um, in the square. I actually just thought of it when I was looking at this page because I knew I was going to need something there. So then you flip it over here and I did some layering, some really simple layering. This is a 3x4 card, this is a 3x4 card, and then this is a 2x2 card. I corner rounded the uh, two top edges right here and then I just took a strip of tip tap taupe and I stuck it on here because when I layered this piece here, this up here is black and it was against black so I felt like it needed a little something to give it some dimension. So I did that, I hand wrote my journaling, hand writ, no that's not right, I'm sorry. I hand wrote my journaling on this piece right here. I'm sorry you guys, I'm tired today. Um, I'm trying to get through this. And then this is a two by two square. And it just says hooray for everyday moments. So there's a lot of repeat, like this says moments like this. This says hooray for everyday moments. There's moments over here. So it kind of might feel like a little bit of an overkill with the word moments, but I just went with it because I really liked the way it layered and I really like layering my pieces. So even though I don't I don't have page protectors yet that have two by two squares um, and I'm not sure that I will use it a ton. Page protectors that have two by two squares. I'm really sorry you guys I'm struggling today. Um, but I do like to uh, layer these two by two squares. They make great layering pieces. So then I just added some more sequins that are right from that kit. And then here is a piece of black, basic black that came from the neutral stack. I just used a couple pieces to fill in. And that's the really great thing about having um, a couple stacks that co um, can coordinate because you can mix and match. And I needed a little something that was a filler 
but um, I didn't have anything left. I just have journaling cards left in my kit. So this made a perfect filler. And then the writing is a lot like this writing in here. So it worked out well, I think. So then here's a photo down here and I just used one of the stickers from the accessory kits and I just stuck that right on the actual um, page protector. It's not on the photo so I like to do that a lot um, when I have stickers like that. kind of makes it easy and then if I ever did need to take this photo out or something there's not an actual sticker right on the photo. So then I have another photo of them playing in the sand and swimming in the water that I'm going to put right here that I just had not got um, printed. So then the only other thing I did, I don't think I mentioned that I put sequins right on that card. So that is how the layout came out. I really like it. Again, I really like using this kit. It's really pretty and it goes really well with those end colors. I didn't do a lot of stamping on this because I didn't really think that it needed it. So anyways, that's my layout for today. I'm sorry about the background noise and the kids and I'm sorry I'm so tired um, and I fumbled through this. I will be back on Thursday with a post for you guys and then of course memory keeping Friday. As always, you can see the supplies that I used and photos over on my website. You can get to that by just clicking right up here in the corner. It takes you right to my coordinating blog post. So thank you guys so much and I will talk to you later.